Welcome to today's presentation. My name is Alice Hogue and I'll be your instructor. Today we're looking at something called calculating beneficial interest. Now I have been in the oil and gas business for a very long time and it has taken me years to understand this concept of beneficial interest. But I'm not alone because if you look in the AAPL guide there's an attempt to explain it in the AAPL guide. So it's just a really complicated um, way to calculate interest. But I think I finally figured it out and I hope this helps you understand it. So let's first start off with what, how interests are calculated in a typical joint operating agreement. So in a typical joint operating agreement, the working interest of each oil and gas company or each working interest owner is calculated based on the number of lease acres that contribute to the unit divided by the total acres in the unit. So that is the lease acres contributing to the unit divided by the total unit acres. So if we have two owners, and let's say this is a 160 acre unit. If we have two owners, owner A and owner B, and owner A owns 80 acres, and owner B owns 80 acres, and owner A has a one-eighth royalty interest in the lease that they took from the mineral owned owners, and company B has a one-quarter royalty interest in the lease that they took from the mineral owner. If we want to calculate what each owner's working interest is, we're going to take the lease acres that are contributing to the unit. So for owner A, that's 80 acres. And we're going to divide that by the total number of acres in the unit, or 160 acres. So that is 50%. So based on just a typical joint operating agreement, calculating an interest in the unit, owner A's interest is going to be a 50% working interest. And the same thing for owner B, because it's still 80 over 160. 50%. Okay, now that's all well and good, but it doesn't take into consideration that owner A had a smaller royalty interest in their lease and owner B had a higher royalty interest. So, you know, when we talk about how important it is to negotiate the oil and gas lease, you want to get the royalty interest, the benefit to the oil and gas company is they're going to get a greater interest. Whereas if you have a higher royalty, the oil and gas company is going to get a lesser interest. So for example, the way we calculate what we call net revenue interest is we take 100 or 1 minus the burdens. Now burdens are royalty interest, overriding royalty interest, uh, non-participating royalty interest, 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 and that's going to equal the net revenue interest. So if this was just a freestanding oil and gas lease, not part of a unit, owner A's interest in this, gonna, in this lease is going to be 1 minus 1 eighth or 0.125, and owner A's interest is going to be a 0.875. That means for every barrel of oil that's generated, owner A is going to get 87.5% of every barrel, okay? And whoever owns the burdens, for example, will pay here the royalty interest owner, they would get 12.5%, okay? So that's calculating net revenue interest. If we look at owner B over here with his one quarter, what's he going to get? 1 minus 0.25 for the one quarter interest, a 0.75. So owner B is only going to get 75% of every barrel, whereas owner A is going to get 87.5%, almost 90% here. This isn't even 80%. 
Why? Because they negotiated a lower royalty interest. So that's what beneficial interest does. Instead of just saying, okay, the lease acres contributed to the unit divided by the total, we're going to take into consideration the fact that A has the benefit of having a better royalty rate. So A is going to be rewarded for having a better uh, royalty rate. And B is going to be penalized for having a higher royalty rate. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So if we're going to calculate beneficial interest, what we're going to do is we're going to use this net revenue interest here. And we're going to create something called net revenue acres. And using that net revenue acres, it's going to show you what the beneficial interest is. So instead of each having 50%, let me show you what's going to happen. Oops, sorry. Clean some of this up here. Okay, but I'm going to leave for you this net revenue interest here. So you'll remember that this is 87.5% here and this is 75% here. And I'm going to redraw that for you in just a second. Okay, so this is going to be 87.5% net revenue interest for A and 75% and net revenue interest for B. Okay, so now let's look at how we calculate the beneficial interest by taking into consideration what that royalty interest rate is. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to take the total acres, 80, for A, and we're going to multiply it times this net revenue interest. So 80 times 0.875. Okay. So we're basically saying what's 87.5% of 80? And that is going to be the net revenue acres. So let's get a little calculator over here. Uh -oh. Okay, it's not going to let me bring the calculator over. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, here's 80 acres times... 0.875. And so the net revenue acres is going to be, oh, let me do that again. Sorry, bear with me here. So we're going to take the 80 acres, yeah, that's what I did wrong, and we're going to multiply it times 0.875. and that's going to equal 70. So the net revenue acres for A is 70 acres. Okay? So instead of 80 acres, it's 70 acres because it's 87.5% of the 80. Take it into account, that never net revenue interest. Now let's look at the same calculation for B, and that's 80 times 0.75. And that is... Oh, sorry, clear that out. 0.80 times 0.75. So 75% of that 80 is going to be 60 acres. Okay, so now they don't each have 60 acres. They have 70 net revenue acres and 60 net revenue acres. So all we're doing is converting these acres to net revenue acres by taking into account that net revenue interest. And then what you do is you add these. So this is going to be the net revenue unit acres. So 7 and 6 is going to be 130 acres. Okay? So in order to calculate what the beneficial interest is going to be, we're going to take 70 acres divided by 130. And that's going to be, oops, where am I? Calculator gun. I lost it. There it is. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we're going to go 70 acres 
divided by 130. And that is a 0.053. I'm going to move that decimal place over uh, two spots. And this is going to be equal 53.8 acres. And then this one is going to be 60 divided by 130. Sixty divided by one thirty. Sixty divided by one thirty. And that's going to equal four six. Forty-six one five three. Now, what this is showing you now, instead of A owning a fifty percent interest and B owning a fifty percent interest, now the beneficial interest is going to be that A owns a fifty-three point eight percent interest, so almost a forty-four fifty-four percent interest and B equals a 46% interest. Okay, so now B, instead of owning 50%, which is what he would got it and get in a typical joint operating agreement when you're going to lease acres divided by the total unit, he's going to get 46%. So we're taking into consideration, and this is what the beneficial interest is. So we're changing this 50% working interest to calculate into what their net revenue interest is to come up with the net revenue acres. Okay, so the formula is the number of acres contributing to the unit times the net revenue interest equals the um, net revenue acres. And then you take the net revenue acres and net revenue acres and you divide that by the now reduced uh, unit acres based on what the net revenue acres, the total of the net revenue acres. And that is how you get beneficial interest. So I think if everybody understood this, this would be very common in joint operating agreements. But I think because it's been so complicated to understand, um, we've just gone with the typical lease acres contributing to the unit, total unit acres. So I hope this has clarified it for you. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. And also, if you have any uh, calculations that you'd like for me to do, I'd be happy to do it the same way I'm doing these. So that is how you calculate beneficial interest. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.